Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our series on Google Forms, and we're going to be taking a look at how to actually get access to the data, to the responses after we've actually put out the Google Form. But first of all, as you may recall from the previous video, we've got a test form here, a dummy form. At the moment, it's obviously not published, so there are no responses. But to get access to where we would see the responses, there are a couple of ways of doing that. The first one is actually open up the form in editing mode, which it looks like this. You can see we've got two tabs here. One is for the questions, for add, adding questions. The tab next to it says responses. If we click on that, you can see, well at the moment you can see nothing, but if we come across to another form that I have been using with my class, you can see that I've got 32 responses and it looks like this. By default it gives us a summary. Question 1, all of the responses to question 1. Question 2, and all the responses to question 2 and so on. Other thing that we can do, if we click on the individual tab, is it actually lets us look at each individual form and you can see that the question and the response is visible, it's, it's light but it is visible and you can flick through and see individual responses that way. So that's how we get access to the data in the first instance. The second option for doing that is we go to Google Drive. The That particular form there, you can see it's called Class Twitter Submission Form. So to get access to it, you'll see that there's the Google Form. Directly underneath it is a Google Sheets, which has the exact same name, but after it, in brackets, it says Responses. So if we open that up, we will see the responses that my students have put through in spreadsheet form. Now, obviously, there's a bit of work that I've done to make it look exactly how I want it to. And the timestamp is obviously automatic. The orange just tells me that I've looked at that tweet and that I've published it. There are some formulas on this Google Sheet that I've put through, but this is what the data will look like. You'll be able to see each column will be one question and each row will be one respondent. So that's what it looks like. That's how to get access to that aspect of it. That sheet will be automatically created as soon as you start getting responses. So as soon as someone submits a response, that sheet will be created. So there's the first two ways of getting access to the data, simply by clicking on the responses tab and looking at the summary, or by going to the Google Sheets. The third option is back in the form, in the responses tab, if you click on this little square here, this little green square, all it does is it opens up the Google Sheet for you. So there's three very, very quick and easy ways of getting access to the data. Let's just have a very quick look at a few other options uh, of things you can do with your data. Now, the three dots here, we know by now that they uh, represent an options menu. If we click on that in this tab, we, we've got a few options for how we can set things up. Now, you might have a form that isn't going to be used all the time, that's going to be used sporadically. You can turn on get email notifications for new responses. Directly underneath that, select the response destination. What this one does is it allows you to specify specify which spreadsheet you want the responses to go into. So if you are reusing an old form, say you've got one from last year and you're reusing it again for this year, you can specify exactly where you want it to go. You can have it create a new worksheet, a new spreadsheet, or select an existing spreadsheet. And that's really easy to do there. The next one underneath is you can unlink the form. If you've got a form that you've used last year, you want to copy it and reuse it, first of all, you would unlink it. So what that does is it unlinks the form submissions, uh, the Google form from the spreadsheet then you would go back in, select response destination and give it the access to the new spreadsheet. The next option is to download the responses. All this does is it downloads the responses uh, as a CSV file, which is essentially a file that you can use to open up in Microsoft Excel or other spreadsheet programs. You can print responses if you've got any, or you can delete all responses. So this might be used at the end of a year if you want to clear everything out and start afresh without set going through the process of setting up a new form and a new spreadsheet for the new year. You might want to delete all the responses. So there's a couple of ways of getting access to your data and a few extra options for setting up your data to use. Don't forget to pause and rewind this video to any point as often as you like and don't forget to subscribe and head over to c21teaching.com.au for more helpful videos. Thanks very much.